it goes. This is gonna be my first video. Um, doing it on long lines, since a lot of people have trouble with long lines. But uh, so my setup, I got this big shit right here, and I always carry four, always four, never less than four, because they'll end up paying for themselves by the time they break. So the trick I found with it is find a nice, I like the black drums. Just find your fish, whatever kind of fish. It doesn't have to be black drums because you catch a shit ton of them. But, uh, so, see, long line, crab, and bottom. So we'll go down here. And skip around until I find a uh, good batch of them. I always want to look for three fish. Get your money's worth out of this long haul. Three. There's three. All right, so I'm gonna drop it on and I'm gonna switch it to the bottom. Okay. Drop it on and on. just go straight. Don't uh, hit your map or anything because it'll drop it short. You want to extend it as long as you can to get the most fish on it. You can either set a waypoint in front of you to keep, make sure you're going straight, but it's really not going to matter because you want to stop right at the buoy. When the buoy pops out, you stop. But uh, you just keep going straight. You really don't need the sonar because, I mean, as long as you have three fish on one part of it, you'll be good. And you should make the money on it. You should never go broke using long lines because it's, it's the easiest way to catch the best fish. Some of the best fish, I should say. I'll make a video on how to catch the bigger fish and what set up exactly you need to do that to pull it off. That's a whole nother video, but we're doing long lines in this one. Looking for a big ship, this is a uh, good ship to do. straight line because it will extend your line as fast as you can save on fuel if you run out of if you're about to run out of fuel if you think you're going to run out of fuel go ahead and quick travel to the nearest port fill up and then by the time you do that come back and get your line and you should have enough fish on it to make a profit making a profit is the biggest thing in this game because if you break even every time you're never going to go anywhere and you won't get a big, bigger or better ship. But uh, the ship's pretty good. It's got good fuel range. As you can see, I wasted like 4% coming out here. Which, from the starter ship, you'd be broke. I mean, you wouldn't have any gas at all. And that's why I carry this little small ship with me. If I'm gonna do some fishing, I use my big ship. That has a lot of fuel to get places. It saves time and in-game money if you have good fishing spots. So we're doing pretty good. We got uh, three fish almost the whole way. Dropped down to two fish once, uh, twice, I say. But we're almost there, so. For the big ships like this, I would start slowing down at like 500 to 
small ship starts slowing down at 200 to 100, it just, you just have to test it and figure out what stops your ship right at the buoy. And if you, if you don't stop at the buoy, you can always turn around. That's why I keep GPS and so on all my ships. I don't buy a ship unless I have the gold to get it, because of the, without them, they're wasting the time. Side of these big ships is they do not like to turn. They are very bad at turning. Just kind of got to deal with them. So we're going to start slowing down. <clears throat> and if you're not going to slow down in time, throw it in reverse. It'll uh, drop your speed a lot more. You throw it in reverse, it'll probably kick me around. Swing me in a circle. Yep. Enough. I've come to learn how this boat works. I've been using it for the past couple of days. It's a pretty solid boat. So we're going in reverse now. Let's slow down fast. Alright, that's fine. Now it's just a waiting game. So even though there's no fish on my radar, my sonar right now, still in a pretty good spot. As you can see, the circle is turned white now, so that means you're catching fish. If it changes colors, you're catching the fish. And that's all that matters, really. You just want to catch as many fish as you can to make a, make a profit off of it. So that's pretty much how you uh, long line. Um, Gonna skip to the part where you pull in the long line. How to, uh, well, it's pretty self explanatory. If you're stopped on the buoy, you press the thing, pull in the long line, and it'll show you how much, how many fish you got. The main thing about the long line is just finding a good spot. If you only got one fish showing up on the sonar, you're not gonna make a profit. You'll probably go below even. You take a loss on it because, as you can see, the wear on long lines is fast. So you got you got about four, four catches, four solid catches, and if you catch twenty thousand, fifteen thousand, I think it is that it catches. If you catch that, you'll make a profit. If you catch any between ten and the max, you'll make a profit off of it. You just got to wait for the right sale time. And it, to uh, sell your fish and then you'll be able to afford nicer ships hopefully once you get to the later game 